Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are doing really well. As you can see from my face and the state of my hair, it's very early in the morning. I have got my coffee, I'm ready and I thought before um, I sit down to do my makeup for the day, why don't I film it for you? So I am going to do um, my easy everyday summer makeup um, drugstore edition right now and then uh, I will also do like a high-end one if you guys like so yeah um, yeah let's just get on with the video so um, please excuse the state of my hair I refused to um, blow dry or straighten it today I just wanted to give it like a just want to give it like a bit of rest um you know our hair goes through so much it's just not it's not fair it's just not fair starting off with the primer so i've got my moisturizer on and for primer i'm using my beautiful elf one i have discovered that i really really like this um it's so so nice i don't i think maybe i'm late to the late to the party or something but this is absolutely amazing it's so so nice and the makeup sits beautifully on this so um next we will do foundation so it's not really a foundation foundation but it's um is it a foundation it is a foundation oops um and this is the number seven if you can see um the number seven protect and perfect advanced all-in-one foundation the reason why i use this is because it's easy to use on the skin with your fingers and it's got SPS 5, spf 15 um and that's one thing that i really really uh make sure that i have on my skin uh because i've got freckles and i've got really pale skin um it's i mean in theory everyone should wear spf anyway um but i've heard from like a lot of people and i've read that people with freckles and light skin um, are more prone to skin cancer. Uh, next, we will go into concealer. Sometimes I skip my corrector, um, only because if like the um the concealer is slightly peachy toned and it's quite high coverage that so i can get away with it especially on an everyday basis i mean i don't really have to go anywhere today um i just have to start working in about an hour so um yeah and for that i'm just using this concealer this is the kiko um active concealer in the color 01 i have done a whole video of kiko products for the whole face um so please check that out if you haven't already i'll put it here in the card somewhere As you Can you see how lovely that is that's like full coverage and that's without corrector i really really like this and then uh once i'm done with that i will do my um i do have to put something on my eyelids because they are very oily and they start creasing so for that i'm using my max factor um miracle prep eyeshadow primer not a lot of people talk about this but it's actually really good Right, and then I will set all of that with the Fit Me Matte and Poreless. I have the colour 105. I mean, to be honest, you can just use anything. Um, just using my Real Technique sponge. Uh, so with the bronzer, I'm using um, the Butter Bronzer from Physicians Formula. This one is called Deep Bronzer. Not really sure if that's the name of it, but that's what it says. right and then for blush i am using this one from kiko this is called the smart color blush 
no it's called smart color blush in the color 05 um, again this was a part of my Kiko um, video that I did and yeah some of the things I'm still using it's a really nice like everyday peach color and it's insanely pigmented which is why I like it right and then for highlight I'm using this one from L'Oreal this is the true match highlight in the color does it have a color I think it's called number two this is you know what this is actually an oldie but a goodie i've used this loads and i still haven't made a dent in it and i don't understand how that's happened um but it has such like beautiful colors like a peachy color like a goldy color and then a brown color and i find that if i just um dip my brush into like the peachy and the gold color it's like a beautiful highlight for like every day two eyes let me zoom you in there you go now for eyes i on an everyday basis i'm extremely lazy so i will just use my bronzer for the crease do one of two looks so either i just use one color like a wash of color on the whole lid or i use a bronzer on my crease and then i just go in with like a shimmery shade so I'm just going to use my highlighter and I'm going to use the brown colour over here. This is so nice. It comes with a really big mirror. i just add that to the rest of the lid for now. And it just gives you like a, a bit of a, like a wash and shimmer to the lid. And I'm just going to use this peach colour. Now it doesn't do like a lot to the lid, it just gives you like a bit of dimension and that's all you need to be honest. As eyes done, uh, now for brows, if you know I literally cannot do my brow brows. So um, I have recently moved from my L'Oreal um, Eye Brow Plumper to this one from NYX. This is called the Tinted Brow Mascara and this is the colour Espresso. Um, I this is not the darkest one I think this is I think the darkest one is like a blackish one I'm not sure but this works for me I mean I don't mind it's slightly lighter than the one that I used uh, the L'Oreal one um, but to be honest I'm not mad about it like it does the job and then for mascara I'm going to use this one from Maybelline this is the Falsies Lash Lift Mascara in Ultra Black this is my absolute favourite these days. All we have left is lipstick. So again, you don't have to do all of this. Um, I always use a lip pencil because that's what I'm used to. So I'm just using my lip pencil from NYX. This is the colour Nude Truffle. And then for lipstick, um, I mean, if you've watched any of my videos, you will have a definitely watched the most i think the most viewed video that i've ever made is my uh, revlon lipstick one and lo and behold um i am using my favorite color which is pink in the afternoon 415 this is the finished look guys i really hope you guys like this please give this a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it please do subscribe guys and yep yeah, i'll see you guys later bye